Hey guys, come check out this game that I just found. What is all of this about, Joe? Why are we at a store? Yeah, Joe, well, what kind of weird game have you brought for us this time? Just trust me, guys, it looks really cool. Well, what is it about then? It looks to me like it is some kind of zombie game. Don't be silly, Barack, it is not a zombie game. Zombies are way too scary for me. Wait, so if it is not a zombie game, then what on earth is it? It is a game about working at a supermarket. It is some seriously scary stuff. There is absolutely no way that I am going to be playing a game where I am an employee at a store. Those people are absolutely useless. I refuse to associate with them in any way. I don't want to be hearing that from you, Donald. You need to respect all professions. How about you respect these nuts, Barack? What color is your Bugatti? Oh man, that was scary. I was not expecting a big scary voice to speak like that. Oh God, here we go. I can already tell this is gonna be awful. Shut up, Donald. This guy is talking to us. You're late. Who the hell does this guy think he is? Does he not know that he is talking to the Big D Trump? My name is the manager. We're not too busy on days like these, so you can have a nice and easy shift to help you get settled in. This guy seems kind of all right, not gonna lie. Hang on, Barack, he is not done talking yet. But remember, I've got a reputation to uphold here. You won't have me looking like a fool, would you? I would, you baldy. This store is the best in town, and I would like to keep it that way. Wow, this guy is really ruthless with his business. I take back everything that I said. I love this guy. If any of my loyal customers aren't satisfied with your service, I'll be hearing about it. Now, go and find Jimmy. He has been working here for a while now. Very loyal employee of mine. Yeah, this guy gives me hard Donald vibes. He will show you the ropes. Put your stuff in the locker and get to it. I absolutely love that guy. Absolutely no bullshit businessman. I think that we can all aspire to be just like the manager. Donald, of course you would aspire to be just like the guy who is clearly being set up as the villain. He is so not the villain, Barack. You would understand that if you were not already too busy being the libtard that you are. Wait, can we not close the locker? What is going to stop someone from stealing our stuff? Geez, Joe, you can tell that you have never worked in a place like this before. No one ever really cares. What the fuck was that? Oh no, look out, guy, they're coming. Something tells me that he already knows that, Joe. No! What in the actual fuck is happening right now? Ah! It's an old woman, run! Holy crap, that was fucking awesome. I wish that I could do that to Joe. Oh no, they are coming, guy, run, run quickly. Joe, what absolute fucking fever dream of a game have you got us playing right now? That was one of the strangest things that I've seen in a while. You see, Barack, this is just like what I was talking about at the beginning. This guy just is not set up for a day of real business. Shut up, Donald, he is talking. I can't take this anymore. I don't get paid enough for this. The rude customers. Deal with it, you lazy bum. The endless amounts of sick. The shit stains. I have reached my breaking point. This all just sounds like a skill issue to me. Listen, it is all up to you now. Putting things in Joe's hands don't tend to go too well. There is still a lot of empty shelves out there. They need to be stacked before we close. You do not want to upset the manager. Here, take this. It is all of the notes that I have made while working here. Those tips have saved me time and time again. This really is exactly what a typical service job does to a guy. Press escape to view the note at any time, whatever that means. Good luck. To hell with this place. I am out of here. What the fuck was that goofy as hell walk? What the hell was that goofy as hell conversation? This guy was really out here acting like a shitty job at this off-brand Walmart is the hardest job in the world. Guys, look. The note that he gave us is telling us how to get everything done. So we can stock shelves, throw boxes, and look over our shoulder. Good to know. Hide in the staff-only rooms so they cannot follow us into there? That is pretty cool, I guess. We get to throw boxes at people? Oh, that is fucking sick. I cannot wait to smack some grandma across the face with a box of canned beans. Donald, that is pretty violent even for you. What are you talking about, Barack? You saw them out there. They were like a pack of rabid dogs. Wait, whatever happened to everything out there just being a normal business day? It is all a normal business day, Joe. Violent assault is by far my most used business tactic. 
It does absolute wonders when it comes to closing out deals. I don't think that's business deals, Donald. I think that is what is called a ransom payment. Okay, well, whatever, Barack. Business is business. Now let's get down to it. I cannot wait to business some people right in the face. Okay, well, this box says drinks on it. I wonder where the drink section is. I am going to bet you that it is over on this section on the right. I can tell because of my awesome business knowledge. And of course, I was completely right. You can all take a bow in front of me for my amazing intelligence now. Don't be shy. Donald, I genuinely think that I would rather have a witch curse me to be eternally stepping on Lego bricks than bow down before you. I do not know, Barack. At least if you were to bow down before Donald, then you would only have to do it once. If you got cursed to be always stepping on Lego bricks, then you would always have to be dealing with it. True, but pain can build character. Bending the knee to Donald is like admitting that your whole life was a mistake. Shut the fuck up, Barack. Plenty of people kneel to me. I am the best president in U.S. history after all. Do I really need to repeat myself, Donald? Oh, whatever, Barack. I do not see you being the one actually doing anything right now. It is once again all me being awesome and carrying you guys through everything. If that is the case, then why don't we start actually unpacking some of these boxes, Donald? So far, all that you have done is put them all into their correct aisles. Do not tell me how to do my job, Joe. I know what I'm doing and you do not. If you try and tell me how to do my thing one more time, then I will actually personally introduce you to God. For all of the talk about how awful service industry workers are, you seem to be talking exactly like one right now, Donald. I am absolutely nothing like those Walmart bozos, Barack. Don't you ever dare say that again. Okay, well, it looks like everything is in the right place now, Donald. Can we just get to stacking the shelves now? Sure, Joe, look at me go. I might just be the best shelf stacker that has ever lived, not gonna lie. You see, Barack, this is the difference between me and all of those Walmart bozos. Whoa, did I just see someone? I thought that we weren't open yet. And what's with that baby noise anyway? I do not know what it is, Joe, but it is really starting to seriously piss me off. Ah! Oh my fucking God, what was that? I'm getting the hell out of here. Where is the damn staff only room? God, I absolutely fucking despise old people. Why can't they just go away while I'm trying to stack these damn shelves for them? Now you really are starting to sound like a normal service worker, Donald. Oh yeah? Well, how many service workers do you see pulling moves like this? This bitch is gonna stay on the damn floor while I stack these shelves on top of her. Ain't no one got moves like the big D trunk. Oh no, there is another one. Oh, this is going to end horribly, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake, Joe. Why did you have to jinx me like that? I was doing fine before that. Everyone, hurry up and be quick. Just finish restocking the products we don't have. Customers will be leaving if we don't do it quick enough. Ah, what the hell is wrong with that guy? He scared the shit out of me. I thought this was just a chill and wholesome selling game. No one told me this is very sweaty to play. What do you mean sweaty? This is just a chill game for me. We just have to refill the missing products. I guess it is too much for an old fossil like you. What the? Did you guys see him? Did he just fell from the floor and get back up that fast? What is going on inside this mart? Yeah, there is just no point in trying to understand this game anymore. It's as dumb as Sleepy Joe at this point already. Ah! What the hell is wrong with this guy? All of the customers we have are all psycho or insane. They are way too much to handle. He needs a new game to Let's Play. Is that my freaking problem? What the hell? You better get the hell out of my face before I'll do it for you myself, shithead. No one cares if you have one subscribers or none. You can't fire me. I'm the greatest employee here. Here you go. Shit. I think this is the wrong aisle. Maybe this one? Ah! What the hell? Why is he this close to my face? Ah, shit, what the hell is going on? He said he wanted the manager right. Wait, wait, what the heck are those sounds? Ah, shit, that scared me. The manager fired us. What the hell? Is this a representation on how cruel life is in terms of having a job and messing it up? If you look at it that way, then yeah, it kind of makes sense. And by the way, Sleepy Joe, to be more accurate, that's what's going to happen to you when I become the president, hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, no way in hell would I let you be the president. All of the U.S. citizens loves me as their president. You mean, majority of the senior citizen loves your old ass? Did you really think someone will love you if they knew how dumb you really are? Of course they do, shithead. That's why I won the presidential election. That just means no one loves you. Ha <laughs> ha. Poor Donald. Oh yeah? 
Why don't you step down from your presidential position and let me be the president? Seeing how incompetent you are, why don't you work in this mart instead? And how about you shut the hell up already? Why don't you compete then? If you want to see who's more competent. Running a supermart is as big as the responsibility of being the president. Holy shit, that caught me off guard. I wonder how many times this will be happening so that I can prepare myself from this scary game. You mean prepare yourself a set of undies since who knows how many times you shat in them already, ha <laughs> ha. Phew, I'm glad I managed to take her to the right aisle. No one cares. Take this, Granny. Ha <laughs> ha, take that, you old tart. You deserve this for trying to scare the shit out of us while we are just trying to peacefully work here. Let me try. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't even know we could do this to the customers. Let's make this our signature welcome when we manage to take them to the right aisle. Wait, that looks kind of fun. Let me try it on this people too. Ha <laughs> ha. Dang, they're falling like dominoes being knocked off by a ball or something. I think we can use this as a defense mechanism against the customers. Or not. Just when things were already getting fun. Why do these people manage to get us all the time? Where the hell are they always coming from? They just creep up on you and whisper, excuse me. Enough of that. Let's focus in restocking the aisles we need too. I guess this is just the only supermart in the neighborhood. That's why there are lots of people here. Well, that sounds like Joe's responsibility to me. And what the hell do you mean by that? We all know that. Ah! What the hell is wrong with all of these people? They keep coming out from nowhere. This crap gotta stop for real. Shut the hell up and help me find the furniture aisle. I think this is it. Phew! We managed to do it again this time. We better map this place out or we'll be in deep trouble. Take this, excuse me my ass. No one is taking me away again from restocking the products I have to. Anti-customer assistance defense mechanisms activate. That sounds like a good call. I'm gonna go ham on any of the customers that try and get close to us. This crap is making me conscious as fuck. Yeah, like can we just restock peacefully? This is gonna be our five out of 10 boxes restocks done. We should keep this pace up while avoiding them customers. I'm just gonna hug the corners right here and find the next batch of boxes we gotta do. Be careful, someone may creep up on us again. How about this one? Phew, that was quick. I guess we didn't have time to finish doing that one. Now we are six out of 10. I wonder what happens when we get to 10. We probably get to beat this game, Sleepy Joe. No other way to explain it. That is like the whole concept of the game. Now focus and get it done. Um, Joe, did you just call me again? What the heck is wrong with you? Do you miss me or something? I mean, I know how much you love me and all that, but just please stop. What the hell do you mean, shithead? I never called you. I was talking to Barack. Take this. And what the hell do you mean you didn't? You just called me a 10. No one else here is a 10 other than me. Are you crazy? The only 10 that you will ever be Donald is the amount of hours it takes for you to fix your goddamn hair so that it will look presentable. Ha ha! Now focus. We are now eight out of 10. Shit, I can feel the customers coming for us. Ah, get the hell away from us, shit. What the hell do you need us to do now? Find your lost baby? What the hell? How is that freaking my responsibility? Take this ugly ass child before you find it in the dumpster the next time you lose it. Shoo! By the way, guys, we can hide in this corners of the wall when someone else tries to approach us again. So use this to our advantage. Ah, shit, hide, goddammit, he still managed to catch us. We need to find a magazine for this guy. Crap, where was the magazine aisle again? Shit, I think I saw it here somewhere. Here it is. I hope you accidentally eat and choke on that magazine you wanted so bad. Screw you. Good job, boys. We just need to find the other two boxes and restock. And I think that's gonna be it. Let's hurry up and find it already. Shit, not here. Not close to the customers. The boxes has to be in the middle of the supermart or somewhere. We have been sticking to the wall for a while now. Oh, hell no, you're excused. Wow, this staff room is indeed quite big. And they even have a locker room. Anyways, we gotta get back to restocking. Aha, what the hell was up with that short detour you took, Donald? Now, why don't we check the back rooms if the other two boxes are stored in there? Just in case. Where the hell are these last two boxes hiding, goddammit? This is way too nerve-wracking at this point. If I were a box, then where the heck would I be? Shit, run from that customer. Don't get us caught this time. We just need to find the other two boxes. Phew, that was too close. I managed to escape from that grandma. Boy, was she fast for her age. Damn. Shit, someone else is trying to ask for assistance. God damn it, he managed to caught up to us? What the hell do you need? A new set of dining chairs? Where the hell is the furniture aisle again? Turn around, it was on the other side. Hurry up and get him to it. There, ah, what the heck, we were so close too. Screw it, I'm going out. This is way too much. Ah, uh, fuck. 
I can't believe that you guys fucked that up. I wanted to finish this game. Run, Donald, run. Maybe we can escape. Ah, help! Hey, guys. Want to play some more Night of the Consumers? I think we can surely beat this game right now. What the hell do you mean, beat the game? We are still at night one. Enough chit-chat. Let's just start the game and get into it already so that we can progress to the second night. Yeah, let's just hurry up and beat this stupid, dumb game. Ah! Oh, no. Who the hell is this dude? Was he even here before? What the heck? He's our manager? I don't remember this guy talking to us in our last session. What do you mean, Sleepy Joe? We just played this recently, and you forgot about the intro already? Huh? Uh, what intro? We're talking about this one. It's just the same scene from before. I bet all the ice creams officially replaced every bit of your brain cells. Screw you, you orange clown! No. Shut up and just watch this again, Joe, so you can remember. Joe, go ahead and talk to your brother. Yeah, just a complete retake of this scene. Everyone knows what this is already. No point in reading this. What the hell do you mean everyone knows it already? I don't even remember playing this game last time. Not my problem, Joe. Huh? By the way, I bet this is the goofy Ah uh, Joe Run does when he shits his pants every time he plays a horror game with us. Haha, <laughs> that is too funny to imagine. Here are the manuals to beating this game again. Blah, blah, blah. Restock. Kill the customers and don't get fired is the way to go if you want to win this ugly game. Sounds easy enough to do. And what the hell did you say, Donald? This shit is not ugly. This is one of the most creative and high quality games I have ever played. Oh, you better shut up with those cringe and dumb ideas you have, Sleepy Joe. You can probably say that because you and this game is a complete replica. Both are ugly as fuck. Oh shit, this guy just bumped into us and he's getting straight into asking some customer service. A headache? I got Joe to give it to me. I guess I gotta take him to the medicine aisle and get some of the meds that might help in headaches coming from you old fart. Oh yeah? Why don't you bring me to the food aisle and you get to watch me eat some of your orange brothers. Watch them suffer as I bite into them. Oh yeah? Is that how you want to play it? Why don't I take you to the bathroom aisle and have you take a bath? The last time you had one was probably when it was 1000 BCE. Haha, <laughs> funny, but guys, focus. Run away from the customers and hide in the staff room just like how I did so we can win this night already. I got a drink box. We just have to. Shit. Why does this ugly looking customers that looks like Joe always keep on bothering me? Excuse me, my ass. Wait, what did you? Ah, get the hell out of my face. They always get us out of nowhere. Holy shit. That scared the living shit out of me. Yeah. Be on the lookout or we'll just keep getting jump scared by them. Working here really sucks. I know, right? Jimmy made the right choice to leave this place. I guess the character we are playing is Joe right now. Dumb and stupid. Cannot even manage to find a good job. What the hell did you just say? I'll have you know that you don't freaking have dementia, so you better get it in your head that I am the president and you are not. Oh, let Joe cook. I didn't know that you had it in you to have such a great comeback from Donald Sleepy Joe. What the hell? How was she still able to stand up? Not this ugly ass baby again. Why don't she tie her up with something? Tisk, so irresponsible. The next time she sees that child, it would be at the recyclable bin. Let's just take this to her already. Ma'am, be careful with your baby or one of the employee named Donald would be willing to recycle it again. If you don't want that, then hold that baby every second of your life. Didn't know you hated babies that much, Donald. No wonder all the kids you had at your campaign cried when they got near to you, ha ha. Shit, another one got us again. I think we need to bring him to the alcohol aisle. He needs a champagne, the most expensive one he said. Here, sir, please do take that champagne and shove it up your mouth. And Sleepy Joe, don't pull out the kid card on me. You're the only one who loves kids here. Uh, um, I think what you mean is that they all love me, and that's a given, because I am the President of the United States. No one cares. Why don't you take your long-lost sister over here to the sweets aisle? I ain't doing none of this shit. Here you go, ma'am. And just stop arguing, you two. Let's just focus in restocking the area. We are doing good for the meantime. We have the whole Mart map out. We can do this, boys. I mean, yeah, because you have me. While a certain someone is eating his own boogers, I am helping us win. We are five out of ten boxes now. Half of what we need to do. Just a few more to go. Excuse you, Donald. I don't eat boogers at all unless they are on top of a vanilla ice cream. So delicious. 
Holy shit, I'm about to puke right now. No one wanted to know about that shithead. Why are you so fucking gross? Keep that info to yourself. Ah, he scared the hell out of me. Looks like he really wants burger. We gotta hurry up and take him to the food aisle. I think it was over here somewhere. Yeah, over here, Barack. Here, kid, sir. I hope you enjoy that burger you so love that I didn't just drop on the floor in this aisle, heh <laughs> You're scaring me, Donald. Maybe the ice creams I'm eating right now was made by you, and you dropped them too. Shit, you better did not. What if I did Sleepy Joe, huh? What the hell are you gonna do about it? Since I'm the President of the United States, I would send you to jail with a lifetime sentence to serve for the reason of trying to poison me. I'll just let you know right now, Joe, that you are so worthless that poisoning you would not be even beneficial for me in any way possible. Be quiet, both of you. Now focus. We are currently eight out of ten boxes right now. We just need a few more, and then we have officially beaten this night. Oh yeah, holy shit, we are about to do it. Let's just hurry up and restock already. No way can they beat us now. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. We should take our time and make sure that we know where we need to put them. One is pet food, and the other one is for the pharmacy, Barack. Okay, copy. Just two more to go. Any customers that would be on our way shall be taken care of with this box. Just leave it to me, like this gentleman, and this guy, too. Good work, Sleepy Joe. We are about to get nine out of ten boxes right now. Oh, no, you don't. No one can stop my anti-customer defense mechanism. Everyone be careful. Let's wait around and restock already. I'm on it right now. Just wait. Holy shit, we got it nine out of ten. Oh, my God. This is so intense, guys. Where is the last box? We only need one more. Oh, for God's sake, why can this guy not just fuck off and go and find his damn game by himself? I literally had the last box in my hand. Quickly, Donald, quickly, we don't have much time. I fucking know that, Joe. Would you shut up already? For God's sake, these old bastards are absolutely everywhere. The coast is clear now. Let's just get over to the last box. We are so nearly finished with this. Oh, for fuck's sake, can you piss off already, you fat turd? Damn, these guys are absolutely everywhere. How badly do these guys need help finding the aisles in a tiny ass store? I know right, Barack. These people must be literally blind if they cannot see the very obvious signs that are pointing them exactly where they need to go. Wow, Donald. This game has got you sounding more and more like a service worker every time that we play. Oh, would you shut up about that already? I don't need you distracting me with your bullshit right as we are about to win. Oh my god, it's actually happening. We are going to do it. That took ages, Joe. I cannot believe that we are actually going to win here. And just like that, the Big D Trump was once again crowned as the king of yet another game. It honestly hurts to be this good at gaming sometimes. Wait, so what do we do now? Oh, hey, look, it's the manager. Oh, well, if it isn't my bestest friend hey. ever. How's it going, Big M? Well, I must say that I am quite impressed. Of course you are, Big M. This is me that we are talking about here. Someone so eager, so passionate. You are exactly what I have been looking for. Keep this up, and you will be nominated for Employee of the Month. Only the most determined, hardworking employees are granted such an honor. You know, you remind me of someone else who used to work here. Full of discipline and determination. My, oh my, he was a fine employee. Oh, how it saddened me when he stopped turning up for work. Stop turning up? Was the guy killed or something? The people here are definitely more than a little crazy. Oh, guys, look, he's telling us to come back tomorrow. Good for us guys, we just got our first job. Why in the ever-living fuck would we ever want to go back there, Joe? That place was an absolute hellhole. Oh, wow. Is that you hating your job that I hear, Donald? Because that sounds a hell of a lot to me like what your average service worker would say. I do not care how much you try to make me change my mind on this, Barack. Service workers are dumb, and that is that. Jesus Christ, you are such an ass, Donald. Guys, look at how cool our apartment is. Well, this place has a whole three different rooms. Joe, don't you have the damn White House as your office? Why are you so impressed by a shitty apartment when you work in the most luxurious office on the planet? It is not a shitty apartment, Barack. Look at it. This place is so cool. I would absolutely love to live here. Joe, I have seen homeless people that live in boxes on the side of the street that have cooler cribs than this dump. Oh well. I do not care if you like it or not, Donald. I am proud of my humble abode and there is nothing that you can do to take that away from me. Do you want to bet on that, Joe? You realize that I own multiple demolition companies, right? I could have this whole city block torn to the ground if I really wanted to. Okay, Donald, fine, you win. What are we even doing at the moment anyway? It doesn't seem like there is anything that we can do here. I was starting to wonder that myself, Joe. 
Does the game just want us to wander around the apartment forever? Can we at least play some video games or something while we are here? Talk about a way to reward players for putting in so much work. This has to be the most boring ending to a game that I have ever seen. Let's give it a chance, guys. Maybe something will happen that will make it all worth it. If that is the case, then they are taking their sweet time to show it off. We've already been walking around this damn apartment for nearly a full two minutes already. Yeah, Joe, I got to admit, this is starting to get boring as hell. Well, maybe there is something that we need to find. We must have missed something around here, right? There is no way that this is it. Joe, shut up and stop coping. I think that we all are just going to have to come to terms with the fact that this game's ending is trash. Oh, what was that, Donald? Because it sounds to me like the game is telling you to shut the fuck up. What in the actual fuck is that thing? Oh God, it's even worse than I thought. It's another service worker. Oh boy, do I got a za for you? What the fuck is a za? He obviously means pizza, Barack. Now shut up and let me read what he is saying. Hope you're having a fantastic evening so far. Oh, what a nice guy. I'm getting hungry holding this. Then give me the damn pizza already, you poor idiot. Here you go, friend. I want to personally thank you for ordering our pizza. We appreciate you very much. I do hope that you enjoy. Is there anything else that I can do for you today? No, piss off, bozo. Any sides we forgot about? Any sauces or drink that you would like? Are you absolutely positively sure that I cannot help you with anything else? Well, thank you again and have a nice... LMAO, that was a classic Big D Trump move. I don't get paid enough for this. I have never seen a pizza delivery guy that had to dress up like a slice of pizza before. Oh, whatever, Barack, that does not matter. We have gotten our pizza. You see, guys, I told you that they would make all of the waiting around worth it. What the fuck? There wasn't even any pizza in that box. Did we just get scanned by a dude in a goddamn pizza costume? It looks like we did, Donald. Are you willing to admit that the life of a service worker is hard now? Fine, Barack, I will admit it. This life absolutely fucking sucks. I want to go back to being rich and awesome and amazing already. Wow. Well, it seems like Donald has had a real ghost of Christmas past style change of heart. I wouldn't go that far, Joe. Just because the life is shit doesn't mean that I am going to stop being annoying to them. Me. Ah, oh God, it is a Karen. Oh guys, I do not want to have to play night two. That looks like it is going to be a real hard time. Well, you are in luck then, Joe. It looks like it isn't even out yet. I guess everything we saw is all that this game has to offer. Good. I absolutely hated every second of having to work at that damn supermarket. Since we're all done, I'm going to be hopping off for now, guys. Yeah, I'm going to be heading off for the day as well. Let's all play some more tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will nuke you as well.